I honestly did not believe and didn't think that there was going to be a big difference between dating and marriage. Really? <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> so... In this episode, we are going to be discussing the difference between marriage and dating. Right. And how I opened it up was I didn't think that there was going to be that big of a difference because for context, we had been together for nine years before actually tying the knot. So with us being together for so long, Mm -hmm. it kind of gave me the impression that, hey, what's the big difference going to be between dating and and being married? And I was wrong. And it's funny you say that because I didn't think that way at all. I mean, of course, us dating in the early years, I mean, obviously there's a a big difference. But me personally, I felt like I knew that there was going to be a difference, especially once we got engaged. I felt like we were preparing for marriage. So mentally, I just started thinking differently. Of course, there were still a lot of things that connected us and tied us to have our own individuality. But Um, For me, it was different. I started thinking differently once we were engaged. But I would agree with you that in the dating stage, per se, like before proposing, um, it, it, it didn't like really cross my mind or anything. Right. Now, when I'm saying the dating stage, I'm also including engagement in there as well. Oh, so you you think like engagement, you didn't think much would change from us dating and where our relationship is and how solid it is. And then going into marriage. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the correct terminology is. I mean, because, yes, engagement is a different stage. And it's not quite dating. But at the end of the day, it's not marriage. True. So there is marriage. And then there's everything before that, which everything before that I would consider dating. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, in the comments, y'all let me know. Let us know, like, what do you guys consider the dating stage? Yeah. But... Long story short, I mean, we all know that there is a there's a difference when it comes to marriage because it's an official commitment that you're making. I mean, like Mm -hmm. it's on paper. You might get your name changed. You might, you know, do all these legal things. So you take a vow before God. Mm -hmm. Right. So officially it is a major difference between dating and and yeah, that alone. Mm hmm. But I'm not talking about the obvious. I'm just talking about our relationship in general. So in in general, since we had been together for so long, nine years before actually getting married, Mm -hmm. I just thought, you know, year 10, year 11 would be about the same. But Mm -hmm. I was definitely wrong. And and I I think the main thing that I started to realize was different in marriage was the true togetherness. Yeah. The true togetherness in marriage is something that, we never really, of course we had togetherness beforehand, right? but, but in marriage, it was such a much more deeper connection Mm -hmm. that you really started to understand, but it really took marriage for us to get there. Yeah, I can definitely agree with you on that because of course, like you said, we always had, you know, this togetherness. We were in a relationship for a long time, you know, we're best friends and, we developed our relationship through the years. So I can see how you can not view marriage changing our relationship at all. But even when it comes to the decision-making process, like everything that I do, my thought process is like, okay, how is this affecting Shane? Right. You know, like we're moving together as one nucleus, as Mm. a unit, you know? Mm. So every decision that we make, Everything that we do, it affects our partner and it is a reflection of our partner as well. So that is something that I can agree with you on because that changes, you know, before you can just say, well, I'm doing me in a marriage. No, you can't. You you doing together. Right. (laughs) Yeah. And honestly, I was going to say exactly what you just said. So I don't even. (laughs) Connectedness. It's it's there. I mean, Mm -hmm. (laughs) the proof is in the pudding. (laughs) That's an inside joke. But um. Yeah, like the unity. Yeah. The unity is yeah. there now. Yeah. And the unity was there beforehand. Like, let's not get it twisted. The mm-hmm. unity was there. But like I said, a much deeper connection, a much yeah. deeper unity, a much deeper togetherness. Yeah. Like it's two people 
now becoming one. Yeah. And you felt that. Mm-hmm. in you in marriage yeah you know another thing that um and it's so funny because now i feel like i'm contradicting myself because cause i feel like i am on the same page as you like maybe i thought too like well not much is gonna change you know because right. we've been together for so long but you don't realize until you're in it right like i know for me even just like especially for the women because we generally um change our last names just the difference in last name right. and going from my maiden name to now my, you know, my married name, even hearing it or there, or if you're checking out and they're like, who are you and who else? I'm like, oh, me and my husband. It's like, yeah. it holds weight. It really know? does. I, I remember that first official document coming in the mail and saying her, the social security card, it <laughs> said Jennifer Yamble. I was like, wow, okay, this is <laughs> this is really official now. Yeah, like we for real, for real married out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's just beautiful in itself. Yeah. I mean, that's beautiful in itself. Mm-hmm. Now, like e- to go even further into this point of like how I didn't realize that there was going to be a difference. Like there was actually another married couple that our college, uh, actually high, high school. school, high school sweethearts mm-hmm. that we met in college and they've always had a strong relationship and, and another great friendship that we both have and that we've developed over the years. Mm-hmm. We had a conversation with them or actually they called us the night before or two nights before. The, it was a few nights before. Yeah. Our I, think wedding. It, I think it was two nights before our wedding and they just wanted to bless our marriage. They wanted to bless this new journey that we're taking together and they mm-hmm. wanted to pray over our marriage mm-hmm. i thought that was the most beautiful gesture yeah, for them to, it really was. to do that and on this call we talked for hour two hours i can't mm-hmm. even remember but we had a really good conversation about this new embarkation mm-hmm. of marriage yeah and i asked them straight up we talked about a lot but i asked them I, i'll never forget this i asked them i don't really see how there's going to be much of a difference because Mm -hmm. just like us, they had been in a, in a relationship prior to marriage for many years. I think Mm -hmm. since high school, yeah, Mm -hmm. since nine, 10 years. So I asked them like, is it really different in marriage? Mm -hmm. Is it Mm -hmm. something that is like something clicks and something changes in marriage? Yeah. And they said a hundred percent. Yes. And everything that we stated beforehand, the mm-hmm. unity, the togetherness, yeah. the coming together under one roof and, yeah. and, and having faith in each other and faith yeah. in God together. Yeah. All of those things really clicked on a different level in mm-hmm. marriage. That's mm-hmm. what they said. And that's what we're saying, too. Yeah. And in the moment, I was like, OK, we'll see. But. It's, and here it's we the, are. It's the truth. Yeah. It's the and truth. So anybody that's not married yet. I hope that you get to experience the same thing. Yeah, it's such a good feeling. Yeah. It's such a good feeling. And it gives you, in many ways, peace of mind. It gives you comfort. It gives you shelter. It gives you strength, too. Right. All of these things kind of embodied under or engulfed under one umbrella. And that is this beautiful thing called marriage, you mm-hmm. know? And when you find your partner that you know you want to spend the rest of your life with and you come together as one, it does changes. And it changes for the better. That doesn't mean that, you know, you're not going to have disagreements or or bumps in the road or anything like that because that is a part of life. Right. But the beautiful thing is that you get to do life with your lifelong partner. So that's just something to, to let sink in. Amen. Now, I'm sure there are many other things that you guys can will comment or, or say um, w- that have changed in your marriage, you know, because there are a lot of things that we didn't point out. But we just wanted to have a conversation about it and share some of the things that we noticed immediately when we tie the knot and embarked into this new journey of marriage. So, yeah, exactly. So this is what we talk about on this channel, relationship building and finance building. And Mm -hmm. we want to have conversations around certain topics that really aren't discussed like that. Mm -hmm. And this is just another example of another conversation that you don't hear people talk about that often, about that difference between dating and marriage. Mm -hmm. And now we're having this conversation and you get to be a part of it. And we want you to continue to be a part of it, continue to like these videos, subscribe to these videos, share these videos Mm -hmm. with friends and family, people that will really 
benefit from this yeah. this content that we're creating. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot more content to bring you guys and we're just getting started. Yeah. This is still a, a fairly new venture for us. Yeah. But we're loving it and we're having good conversation between us that we're now sharing with you. 